Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Imagine you are an artist in a difficult life situation, which is why you had to lower your commission prices in order to get commissioned and be able to pay your rent. Imagine then that someone commissions you to draw a character in a simple way, and it later turns out that the character you drew was of a content creator that did not consent to being drawn in that way, and that the art you drew of them is actively being used to harass said content creator. How would you feel and what would you do? Recently, I was notified that someone was doing just that, making not safe for work artwork of my character despite me making a public statement that I do not consent or want to be sexualized in that way. After doing some digging, I was able to find the person who made the explicit work and after confronting them about it, I found out something so disturbing and disgusting that I absolutely had to make this video. So, as much as I wanted to avoid this topic entirely, here we are. Today we will be deep diving into the uncharted territory territory of Rule 34 artworks. I'll also go over my own experiences dealing with them and the disgustingly shocking discovery I made after confronting a Rule 34 artist that made ludes of my character without my consent. This video will most likely be buried due to the topic we are covering, which is why I'm so honored to have a sponsor for this video, Skillshare. As many of you might be aware, I've been an avid user and advocate for Skillshare on my channel for years now, due to it genuinely being one of the best online learning platforms out there. You can find almost anything and everything on their extensive catalog of premium classes and learn whatever skill you may want to master in an effortless and ad-free way. I highly recommend y'all to take none other than my own classes and learn to draw directly from me. That's right, I'm a teacher on Skillshare, and despite my classes being years old at this point, they still offer up great tips for anyone wanting to learn how to draw like me. Take the class How to Draw a Manga or an Anime Style Portrait by, well, myself, and submit your drawings for me to give feedback on in the project gallery. I'll do my best to respond to as many of you as I can, so even if you're a beginner artist or you think you can't do it, try your best and show me your results. Skillshare is really affordable, so I highly recommend trying it. The first thousand people to use the link or my code will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So join me on Skillshare and send me your creations. Make sure to click my link for your 30 day free trial and do it fast too because those slots go by so fast. Thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I'll do my best to heavily censor this video, but that being said, I'll put out a huge trigger warning for sensitive and mature topics. I will also ask that you guys do not go looking or searching for the content mentioned in this video. It's very explicit and not for minors, which is why it's heavily censored. Let's keep the conversation in the comments of this video and leave it at that. Do not harass or attack anyone discussed in this video or spam any of the forums mentioned. Thank you for your cooperation. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so before we tackle the more disturbing part of Rule 34, let's first go over what it is and where it originated from. Shortly put, Rule 34 refers to an unspoken rule on the internet, which states that if it exists, there will be loots of it. According to Urban Dictionary, and I quote, Rule 34 is an infamous internet rule that no one seems to accept. For anything on the internet that exists, someone, somewhere, somehow will find a way to that. Like it says in the definition, Rule 34 can be made of literally anything. The game Tetris, yes there's Rule 34 of it. An airplane, yes that too. An actor, animal, fictional character, or even an inanimate object, there's most likely Rule 34 of it. It is said that this unspoken rule has existed even before the internet was created, but it was truly embraced by forums such as 4chan as a meme, along with other rules. The first known mention of Rule 34 was made by Peter Morley, who is the creator of the comic Calvin and Hobbes, after he was sent fan art of his beloved characters in 2005. He made a short comic responding to the fan art which states, Rule number 34, there is corn of it, no exceptions. This then morphed into a meme on internet forums, where each forum listed their own specific rules on how to behave on their website. 
Though some of the other so-called internet rules have changed over time, Rule 34 has always stayed the same, ultimately surviving the test of time. That being said, Rule 34 is a highly contested and debated issue due to how it's developed from being just a meme on random forums to becoming its own entity with an avid and large community of users surrounding it. But as the internet evolved and YouTube became the platform it is today, the content of Rule 34 has shifted from looting fictional characters, celebrities, or objects to targeting smaller content creators and general YouTubers. This has raised a moral question on the ethics of creating not safe for work artworks of regular people that are not celebrities due to most YouTubers being just that. It's no secret that celebrities and hugely popular public figures have always been the target of by the media, with tabloids shipping singers together or actors with their fellow actresses. But now, with how accessible the internet is to literally everyone, it's common to see regular micro-influencers being shipped together or eluded on Rule 34 sites by people who create and consume that type of content. There is no line or boundary anymore, and just about anyone can be the target of this type of sensitive content, especially if they have any kind of following online. And when I say that there is no line or boundaries, I mean it. Nobody is safe from this content, not even children, but I'll get to that later. Going back to Rule 34 and how it came to be, it's no secret that fanfiction and fan art has and is a thing that almost everyone has engaged in as a part of internet culture. Shipping your favorite characters together from your favorite book or show is something I'm sure all of us are guilty of, and some have even crossed the line of creating adult fanfiction or fan art of these fictional characters. Technically speaking, that can be considered Rule 34 of those characters. So if we really think about it, Rule 34 34 is quite common on the internet, even though it's not called Rule 34 specifically. It's also hard to regulate, because once a work of fiction or a thing gets popular enough, there will most likely be people that create fun works about it. Some say some not. I do want to mention that Rule 34 is not all bad, if, and I repeat, if the creator has consented to being looted in that way. And I'm specifically speaking about when Rule 34 is being made of real people, like creators creating content, actual public figures. If that public figure or creator has consented to being looted, then it's fine. However, if that creator has asked not to be looted or hasn't consented to it, I think personally it's inappropriate and wrong to do so. I know it's really popular in the VTuber community to be looted, and it can be seen as a milestone of sorts for some. But there is consent there, and the creators are open and accepting that their likeness, persona, or characters are being looted by their community. The problem arises when creators are looted without their consent and then spam and harass with that explicit content. The problem becomes even worse when the creators being looted are minors, and it's their persona, likeness, or themselves that get drawn in these explicit ways. A good example is the creator Jellybean, who is literally still a child, but despite that, they're being mass-targeted by Rule 34 creators. And even though I thought this couldn't get any worse, it does, because I've now found out that the people creating this type of content do so by commissioning artists who are in difficult life situations and have emergency commissions open, just to exploit and use them to make sense content of minors, non-consenting creators, and the like, all the while keeping the actual artist in the dark about it. I've also come across some creating deplorable art of creators being r-worded or using something personal the creator has discussed in their videos to degrade and humiliate them. The rabbit hole goes deep, and I want to explore that more after the transition. I unfortunately have known about the existence of Rule 34 for years now, only because I was a target of it while I was still a smaller channel with barely 30 something thousand subscribers. I've done my best to ignore that part of the internet for so long, because like Jaden Animations has mentioned, it's something we have no control over, and I thought that if I pretended it didn't exist, that maybe it would just disappear and go away. Contrary to my wish, however, the more my channel grew, the more this content was being made of my persona. I was happy ignoring the existence of the Rule 34 that was being made of me, until one faithful day, when I got a harrowing DM on Twitter which disturbed me to my core. 
It said the following, and I quote, Hello there, I'm just a random who stumbled upon your content and liked it. Unfortunately, I learned about you through horrible means. Are you aware that your artsona has been used in corn? While I look at not safe for work content, I'm fully aware that there are horrifically shitty people who acted to spread hate towards specific individuals. Seeing not safe for work of YouTuber characters is nothing new, whether they like it or not. However, when it's used to hate and cyberbully someone, that crosses far too many lines. I found a few that used your artsona and I doubt you had any say in it. It was when they decided to call you unhinged and incorporated race play by making Anon white and claiming you are bletched, which is a racist fetish that supports white male superiority, especially targeting and treating black women like inferior things to freely have s with and mock black men. I looked up some history about you and I can see how the shitty racist side of the internet decided to try and cancel you. I wish things were different, but I hope you're still standing up against this mountain of BS that has been going on for a long time. I was really taken aback by this DM, because the reality of someone discovering of my existence solely through this explicit content was really mortifying. And to top it all off, I was not only being s without my consent, but also being degraded and dehumanized in racist ways in the process. I then did some research and after checking the source I was provided, I stumbled upon extremely racist not safe for work artwork of my character being by a white man. It's truly disgusting and violating to see something like that, and it feels revolting to be objectified to that extent. I did some more digging which led me to a rabbit hole that uncovered one of the artists behind some of the explicit work that was made of me. The first thing I noticed when going to the artist page was that they had emergency commissions open due to their family member suffering from an illness. I approached the artist in DMs and let them know that the art they were commissioned was of non-consenting YouTubers including me. And the artist was horrified and shocked about this information and told me that the commissioner lied to them about having permission to draw these characters. They felt really bad for being mixed up in creating this type of artwork and apologized for making it. So not only were these people exploiting non-consenting YouTubers in ways through these degrading artworks, but they were also exploiting artists in need to produce it. It's truly sickening how far some of these Rule 34 creators will go in order to satisfy their desires. I will reiterate that it's alright for them to create not safe for work artworks of creators who have consented to being looted. And believe it or not, there are so many creators that are completely okay with it. So for these people to fixate and focus on those that don't want to be looted in such toxic ways is beyond me. Not to mention that the explicit artwork is used to harass those creators. I can speak for myself when I say that I've been sent DMs where the Rule 34 artwork is being used in a racist and disgusting way to solely harass me. I to this day have people reposting loots drawn of me in Twitter replies in order to antagonize me. I would even prefer if these people stuck to their side of the internet so that I could go on pretending that they don't exist. But how am I supposed to do that when they seek me out and use that artwork to and racially harass me. And I'm not the only one having to deal with such sickening behavior. A fellow art commentary channel called Streamline Workshop also deals with sick individuals who went out of their way to create an impersonation account on Twitter after Stream deactivated their own Twitter account. This horrible impersonation account not only posted explicit art of me and Stream together, but also went on to post something so vile that I can't even find the words to describe it. They posted not safe for work artwork of string being by their actual groomer. It's just something so deplorable that it infuriates me to even think about it. How the hell are you going to draw smut of a victim with their ab It's absolutely unacceptable. And I'm baffled that this type of content is being allowed to stay on Twitter. We have reported the account multiple times, but Twitter hasn't done anything about it. So I urge my adult viewers specifically to report the account to Twitter for harassment and bullying. As for the minors watching, do not interact or find any of the accounts mentioned in this video. Oh, and please go send some supportive words to stream and subscribe to their channel. They don't deserve the sickening harassment they are facing, and it needs to be stopped. Stopped. There is another art commentary channel that was also degraded and harassed by these Rule 34 creators. The artist is called Duchess Celestia. 
Celestia posted a really vulnerable video opening up about a traumatic experience of how they were by hospital staff. It's a heartbreaking video which I'll link below for y'all. But after this video was made, some created this tasteful Rule 34 of Celestia being which is absolutely nauseating, knowing how they're using Celestia's trauma for their own desires. This is how Celestia described their experiences with Rule 34 after I asked about it on Twitter. Tweak a warning for abuse. I've had people make Rule 34 art specifically of my Sona in hospital restraints being because my experience turned them on. Sex art is one thing, and I personally don't care if people make it of me or my persona. But people often take it way too far. The fact that there are people using my trauma and drawing that kind of art of my Sona makes me want to vomit. I guess in my opinion, Rule 34 art isn't inherently bad in and of itself, but becomes malicious when people use it as a weapon to hurt a creator. I resonate with the last tweet that Celestia made. More often than not, this type of content is used to degrade harass, dehumanize, and objectify creators which ultimately muddies the waters and makes it all look bad and abhorrent. Though I recognize that not safe for work content is in my cup of tea, I can also admit that it's a form of media that some enjoy and avidly indulge in. What makes it unacceptable is when this media is used as a weapon against creators to s children or exploit others' traumas. I had a chat with a minor art commentary community member who was absolutely distraught about finding out that their persona was drawn in a transphobic way engaged in an explicit scene with my character. And they expressed to me that seeing this content was deeply troubling to them. They expressed anxiety over it and humiliation which made them feel helpless. Seeing that minor feel so distraught due to this content solidified my decision to make this video. I don't want anyone to ever feel that horrible for simply existing, and though I'm not advocating for all of Rule 34 to be stopped, I am pleading with those people to leave minors and those who don't consent to being looted out of their content. This video is also a public safety announcement to all artists taking commissions. Beware of people that prey on you to draw not safe for work artworks of YouTubers. Double check by reverse image searching the references they give you. And just be aware that that's a thing that's happening. I know that it's not the artist's fault for being tricked and exploited to produce Rule 34. But since we know now that people are doing it in such sneaky ways, it doesn't hurt to look out for any red flags when taking on commissions. I already know that after this video, there will probably be an influx of Rule 34 of my persona, but I think it's a sacrifice worth making in order to spread awareness on this topic. It's a pretty hush-hush topic in our community, because everyone has already accepted that Rule 34 comes with being a creator and that it's inevitable that someone somewhere will s you. And while I personally find that sad, I recognize that there is absolutely nothing I can do to stop people from creating that type of content. This topic is really complex and nuanced, and while I have my own perspective on it, I also wanted to know what you as a member of my community thought of it too. That's why I asked y'all's opinion regarding it on my Twitter, and I got some great responses which I want to share. Zaid said, by itself, the existence of erotic content isn't problematic. Sexuality is just a part of many people and that's one way to express it. Issue is that much like any flavor of erotic content, corn addiction can happen and will reach the people who think that consent, boundaries, and morality can be ignored as long as it's corn, because it's not real and don't kink shame. That leaves us to people sending explicit drawn corn to strangers online without asking because they can't grasp that that is harassment, or treating fetishization of minorities and minors as a harmless kink. The issue with Rule 34 isn't that corn exists. Corn can exist without being bigoted or predatory. The issue with Rule 34 is how it's used to excuse everything wrong in the not safe for work art communities. Cloud said, I don't think of it as a rule, more like a natural law. Some of them are alright, but sometimes you gotta draw the line somewhere. Rule 34, as it implies, has no boundaries and can't be stopped, like a force of nature. I've accepted that fact a time ago. Fiona says, 
spicy art is whatever, it'll be drawn no matter what. But so long as it's not easily accessible to minors, I won't grumble. But some literally just do it because they can, and put it on a public platform to get a reaction which is where the line should be drawn. Joey says, Rule 34 excuses a lot, as if people can just not be weird. Kamar says, Honestly, Rule 34 is one of the reasons why I'm really really scared about sharing my stories and characters. Because at some point, some people could make loot stuff out of it, even if I don't want it to happen. Some people still don't respect people's boundaries, and it's terrible. Shosh says, this rule really made irreparable damage to the internet and has made it so that grown adults do not have to engage in critical thought. I have always perceived Rule 34 as a prediction with caution, but people take it as a rule to follow. And so, it's sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy and I hate that. Thank you all for sharing your opinions. The thread had so many great perspectives, so if y'all wanna go read them or be a part of my future videos like this, follow my Twitter account. I would also like to hear what y'all think watching this video. I'll be reading all the comments so let me know where you stand regarding this topic. I understand that it's really nuanced and it depends on the person. This is going to be judge free zone so share all of your inner thoughts regarding this topic. I could go on and on about all this but I think I've pretty much said everything I need to say and thoroughly explained why I personally find a lot of rule 34 uncomfortable. But while my experiences with it has been horrible, someone somewhere is happy to be looted. I just hope that this video shed some light to this topic, as I haven't seen many in the community talk about it, in fear of being targeted by the rule 34 mob. I feel like I have nothing to lose because I've been targeted already, so I'm okay putting myself at risk for the sake of this video. If you appreciate my efforts, consider becoming a supporter of my channel by subscribing, liking the video, and commenting for the algorithm. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a patron or a channel member. I'll also leave links to Streamline Workshop and Duchess Celestia's channels, so you guys can go show them some well-deserved love. I had my birthday recently too, so don't forget to wish me happy birthday. I totally forgot to announce that before, but you know, it is what it is. I want to thank my amazing patrons and my channel members for always sticking by me and supporting me through thick and thin. Thank you to Alien, Kuroi Hana, Saint Raya, Black Wolf 275, Split Into Two, Harriet Rose, Lady Kimono, Romad, Noah Smashy Smash, Emmy, Ghost Girl V, Ash Wetzel, Lil Artsy Savage, The Opinion Queen, Nat, Dianara Serges, Jamisha Walker, Tenjimon, Seiji Hito, Life on Mars, Hat, Salem Smith, JJ, Adam Quentin Colley, Cool Ranger, Isabella, Min McLan, Glitchy Garbage, and a new addition to the family, Galaxy Brain. I can't emphasize how much you guys mean to me and this channel. I legitimately would not be here if it weren't for you guys, so thank you. What do y'all think of today's video? Do you think Rule 34 is alright and that I'm overreacting? Or that the concerns brought up were valid? Do you have any experiences regarding Rule 34? And is there anything that can be done about it? Do you consume it? If yes, why? Let me know in the comments. Bye!